Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Before we get to the topic, I'd like to let you know that Retouch For Me is on a summer sale. If you click the link in the video description, you will get 30% off instead of the normal 25%. The promo runs from June 3rd to June 17th, so grab this opportunity now. Welcome to the future of photo editing with Adams by Retouch For Me. Adams is an AI-powered retouching tool designed to streamline your photo editing workflow. This cutting-edge technology offers professional-grade retouching in seconds, allowing you to process and export thousands of photos effortlessly. With features like automated culling, skin tone correction, eye enhancement, and backdrop cleaning, Adams ensures your images are flawless. Whether you're a professional photographer or a hobbyist, Adams is here to revolutionize the way you handle photo shoots. Get started today and experience the efficiency and precision of AI retouching. Adams by Retouch for Me boasts several top features. Automated culling, quickly filters out the best shots from a batch. Skin tone correction, ensures natural and uniform skin tones. Eye enhancement, brightens and sharpens eyes for a captivating look. Backdrop cleaning, removes distractions and imperfections from the background. Batch processing, handles thousands of photos efficiently, saving time and effort. For more details, visit retouchfor.me slash Adams. Okay, so let me show you how Adams works. Please note that it is still in its alpha stage, so some functions might not work. Also, Adams is completely free, so check the link in the video description and give it a try. So, this is the Adams dashboard. At the time of this recording, I am at version 0214. When we click on settings, it will show your account name, email, and switches to enable automatic face search and photo analysis. You can also change the language right here. If we click on plugins, it will show all the available Retouch For Me plugins and you can download and buy them here. It will also show the plugins that you have purchased and activated. Okay, let's go back to the home screen and create a project by clicking right here. Then we select a folder. Click right here to open the project. You can click this button if you want to add more photos. You can sort the photos by date created, date modified, name, rating, image features, or face features. You can also sort them by ascending or descending order. You can also group similar photos. You have the option to filter photos by date created, rating, image features, face features, and folders. As mentioned earlier, Adams is still in alpha stage, so the calling and sorting function does not work. Down below, you can drag this slider to change the size of the thumbnail previews. You can click the left arrow to exit the project. Just click to go back. This icon right here takes us to the settings we saw earlier. Then we have the reject and favorite icons right here to tag our photos. You can also click these tiny icons in the corner. This bell icon just shows the export history. If you double click a photo, it will enter single image preview, showing a larger image. Click the left arrow to go back. If we click on details, it will show information about the photo, such as the folder location date of creation, rating, and exif data if it has any. In the export section, it will show all the plugins you have purchased and activated, as well as other plugins available for download. Okay, now let's try to edit an image. Let's choose this one. Then we select the plugins that we want to use, heal, dodge and burn, portrait volumes, and white teeth. Let's skip the rest of the plugins below. If we click this cog or gear icon right here, it will open the plugin standalone window. From here, you can adjust the sensitivity and preview a before and after. If we click the arrow right here, it will show the portrait size option and sensitivity. I recommend just leaving it at AI detection as the AI is very reliable. The same goes for these plugins below. For portrait volumes, I like to keep it at just 50%. For white teeth, I just leave it at default. Once we've chosen our plugins and adjusted the settings, we can now click this export with correction button. It will show the number of photos selected, the folder you want to export the photo to. And if you want to put it in a subfolder, add it to the current project and add a suffix to the original file name. Let's click export. If we click right here, it will show all the export settings. You will get this error if you haven't purchased and activated a particular plugin. In my case, it's white teeth. So, we go back to our project dashboard, deselect white teeth, and export it again. Then we wait for a couple of minutes to process. 
and that's it. The photo has been retouched. We can delete the previous task by clicking this trash can icon right here. Or delete all the completed tasks entirely. Okay, now let's check out the results. This is the before, and this is the after. Before, after. Now let's try to do batch editing. Let's create a new project by adding another folder. As you can see, the software does not support raw files at the moment. Let's enable the plugins that we need to edit these images. So those are Heal, Dodge and Burn, Portrait Volumes, Eye Vessels, and Eye Brilliance. Then we select all the images we want to edit. Set the Export Options, and hit Export. Let's click right here to show the task. This could take a while, so I'll go ahead and fast forward this step. After 20 minutes, we've edited all the photos. Note that the processing time will vary depending on the size of the images and the processing power of your computer. Okay, now let's take a look at the before and after. So, this is Retouch For Me Adams, another groundbreaking tool to retouch portraits. I can't wait for the full public release of Adams when the culling and sorting functions will be fully functional. Perhaps that will be a topic for another video. Again, Retouch For Me is on a 30% off summer sale. Click the link in the video description. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more Retouch For Me videos, and click the bell icon to get notified when I publish my next video. Thank you for watching.